This GoLabs portable power station has me intrigued. I can't lie. Let's talk about it. All right, let's just start with the basics. Um, I'm Ives at Scott Solar, where I like to keep solar simple. This GoLabs joint on Amazon is $300 with a $100 off coupon for about 300 watt hours of battery. And it's a LiPo battery, which means it gets about 1,000 to 2,000 cycles. 2,000 is the number, but has anybody had a lithium iron phosphate battery for that long? I, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I'm really intrigued by this. I've been looking at the EcoFlow Delta and this one is $100 less. Man, let's just take it from the top. 2,000 charge cycles, 300 watt hour capacity battery, USB-C charging at 30 watts, and then a USB bi-directional power delivery port. Well, the first one's power delivery too, but bi-directional I'll put 60 watts and take in 60 watts. That's like, that's really compelling, man. The screen is like, eh, but it's better than my Bodans. I originally bought my Bodans because it was LiPo. I wanted something that I can hammer. If you haven't seen that video, I made a video about why I chose it. I'll post it up here somewhere. And I've been feeling, oh, it has a pure sine wave inverter. Now, I don't know what the quality of that inverter is. It's probably not the best, but nobody who does it, like Hobotech hasn't tested it. He's extremely thorough. I don't know how anybody does reviews behind Hobotech. This dude just crushes it, him and Will Prowse. Will Prowse has gotten away from doing like portable power station reviews. So, you know, he's a DIY channel. I, I get it. So my Bodans, my first one, I'm happy with it, but I've been feeling it, the need to kind of like upgrade it because it has that modified sine wave inverter. And I, I don't want to damage my devices, man. I get, I just, I don't want to do that. So I've been kind of like, man, should I get another LiPo battery to give me some of that stability, but also has a pure sine wave inverter. So I don't have to worry about damaging my devices. I was thinking about that Energizer. That Energizer piqued my interest. Um, I feel like it's overpriced, but maybe that's because I'm basing it on the first version of it, which wasn't as big. This one is now like around the 300 watt hour mark. And I think that first one was more comparable with the Bodans. Bodans had like its box and the Energizer had like its box and they were very comparable. The Energizer was more expensive than the Bodans, but I think it had an, a power delivery port that went in and out as well. But I wasn't gonna spend like the extra 30 to $60 to get that versus the 120 that I spent on the Bodans. So this GoLabs one has a pure sine wave inverter as well. So I'm like, man, that, that would be a good look. I paid 120 for the um, Bodans and this one is going for 199 with the coupon. I'm like, man, I, I don't know. What do y'all think? Would you buy that GoLabs one? Here's another interesting thing. You could essentially buy an EcoFlow River. That's fine. The base one, $300. That's cool. Um, don't pay $350 for it. That's just, that's not a good look. I don't think, no. So let's say you get the GoLabs one, 300 watt hour battery, and you use that kind of to supplement the power that goes into the EcoFlow River. I don't know why, um, I can't think of too many reasons why a person would just buy that little $250 um, extension to make it the max when you could get a whole separate device that has everything, battery, inverter, MPPT controller. Uh, the only thing I can think of is if you have a situation where you want to run something that is a high draw, like three, 400 watts, and you just want to have more power in a device to run that device. That's the only thing I can think of, but I don't think anybody's buying the max for that. I think people are buying, maybe they are. I don't want to get into conjecture. I, you know, I don't know why people are buying these devices. I don't know. So in my mind, you get the EcoFlow River and then you pair that with the $200 Go Labs, you charge the EcoFlow from the 12 volt port of the Go Labs, and then that's going to be constantly pulling in 100 some odd watts into your EcoFlow. So if your EcoFlow is the beast, then you use the Go Labs as a backup. And 
you can use the EcoFlow to charge the Go Labs because it takes in 60 watts in. So you got 150 some odd watts coming in on the EcoFlow. You know what I mean? You're using whatever you're using. I don't know. Maybe I'm different. Coming from the Rock Pals and the Boat Ends, not having a whole lot of solar input, that getting 150 watts, 160 watts of power. That opens up a new world for me. So if I got something like that, I would just charge the <laughs> the uh, Go Labs off of the EcoFlow. And granted, I like having panels. I have a couple panels laying around, so I could plug it up into its own panel, a 50 watt panel, or a 100 watt panel, and that would work just fine. So yeah, man, the Go Labs is giving me quite uh, a quandary. It has a couple quirks. Like if you don't, you have to have your your USB A plugged into your device first before you plug it into the device and then turn on the AC. I don't use USB-A that often. The fact that it has two power delivery ports is crazy. One thing I don't like is that you can't use the 60 watt power delivery port when you're charging the device. Like if you're charging it through solar, AC, or the car, that device becomes unusable, input or output. I mean, you know, you could use it to charge it, but then you'd be using it to charge it. One downside is it does come with a 45 watt wall charger. But again, I don't necessarily care about that because I'm going to be charging it from solar or I'm going to be charging it through power delivery. I have I've been recently updating my charging capability. This is a 45 watt RAV power. And I also have this Aki. I don't know how you say it, but it's a dual I think it gets up to 90 watts or something like that. It was This was hard to find, man. I had to dig and dig and dig to get this. So I would charge it through something like this, or I'd just charge it directly from the port of something else if I had it. So the Go Labs on Amazon, at the recording of this video, I think it has an $80 off coupon. So it would be $220. Do you feel like that's a good deal, one? Or do you feel like it's a good supplementary battery to power another portable power station like the River or the Jackery 300, which I really like. I really like that Jackery 300. I tried to get in touch with them to see if they would send me something. I don't think they got back to me. EcoFlow did get back to me. They were just like, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. 